Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is brought to you by Minitool Partition, a powerful software that helps you manage and organize your computer's hard drive partitions effortlessly. I'm really excited to partner with them for this video, as I've been using their software myself and it has been a game changer for me. Now, let's talk about the benefits of using Mini Partition Tool. One of the things I love about this software is its versatility. It supports various partition operations, such as creating, deleting, formatting, and resizing partitions. Whether you want to allocate space for a new operating system or merge existing partitions to optimize your disk space, Mini Partition Tool has got you covered. With just a few clicks, I was able to adjust the size of my partitions and allocate the right amount of space to each one. If you are interested in trying out Mini Partition Tool for yourself, you can find a link in the description below. So let's get started. So click on above, Download Partition Wizard. Here you find three version, which is Free Edition, Pro Edition, and Server Edition plans. Starting with a Free Edition, you can get Beneficial Program. Click on Download. After downloading, double-click to install the file. Select your language. It will ask you to try Pro. Most of Beneficial Programs are shown in List of Pro version but only benefit is available in free version. You can also check if you want to see more features of this tool. Click on Next so that the software starts to install. Now click on Finish button. OK. So now we are on Minitool Partition Software Interface. As you can see, there are many functions and lots of feature present in this tool. You can see the data backup, data recovery, partition recovery, disk benchmark, and space analyzer. That's cool, right? So here in below, you will find different levels of partition in which you can easily customize and partition your disk. Like you can migrate OS to SSD or newer disk, copy partition, or you can copy entire disk to other. Also, you can convert GPT to MBR disk in every level. Seriously, there is also a bootable media option in which you create bootable flash drives, pen drives too directly from this tool. Here, as you can see, when you right-click on disk, you will find various options. So let's talk about split option. Here you can able to split disk into different partition parts depends on how you want to store files. Just you can drag the disk part to split the partition and then apply. Here you can also choose and merge partition that will be expanded to include adjacent partition. Very useful, right? With this tool you can resize or move partition for the selected partition. Also make sure you need to back up important data before you doing this. You can also change the drive letter very easily. Just select new letter, choose and apply, that's it. Coming to Data Recovery, you can recover your deleted files easily with the help of this tool. Going to above, you can also do Disk Benchmark to test the read-write speeds of disk and calculate the scores of disk. Here I have two SSD disks installed on PC. Storage Analyzer, which helps to analyze the data on different partitions, also choose the disk to analyze. If you have any doubts or if you are new, just check out the manual given above. They provided lots of information on how to use this tool. Also, if you want to use all the beneficial features, click above Register, check out all beneficial plans which are useful. They provided powerful file partition features. I've personally used Mini Partition Tool to resize my partitions without losing any data. It saved me from the hassle of reformatting my entire hard drive and reinstalling everything from scratch. With just a few clicks, I was able to adjust the size of my partitions and allocate the right amount of space to each one. 
It was a smooth and seamless experience, and I highly recommend it to anyone who needs efficient partition management. If you are interested in trying out Mini Partition Tool for yourself, you can find a link in the description below. That's it for today's video. I hope you found this information helpful, and if you did, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more tech-related content.